Hi everyone, we are back with another language variations and since it's summertime, we are doing water sports. So, the first word in English is water polo. Water polo, I think in Malay it's really simple. It's just polo air. Air means water. Strangely spelled like air, so it's A I R, but it's pronounced <laughs> air. Uh, and adjectives come to the end, so polo air. How do you say air in Malay? Uh, udara. Udara. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we follow the same logic. Water polo, sort of water ball, we say. Busy love that. Ah, sounds quite nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So in French, um, we I do not think that there is an actual French word for it. We have just kept the English word. But of course, we make sure we keep a French pronunciation. <laughs> so it is water polo. <laughs> Next one is very common. It is swimming. <laughs> so swimming itself, and to swim we say renang, but mm -hmm. the activity we add a, a prefix to it, we say berenang. Berenang. We say usash. Usash. And is that the noun or the verb? Is That's it the swimming. Okay. So to swim is usni. Okay. Usni. Okay. But the word I really like is usash oktatash, which means um, sort of like swimming training or swimming instruction. Ah. Ah. Which is just such a nice word, usash oktatash. Like swimming oh, lessons. Gosh. Swimming lessons, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. So in French it is, um, so to, to swim is neige, um, but the activity swimming is called la natation. Natation. That's such an interesting word because it looks nothing like swim. Yeah, same in Spanish. Sorry. And actually, mm. even nager and natation, the only thing they have in common are the first two letters. <laughs> Next one we have is a little bit like swimming, but it is diving. Oh. Ooh. So, d diving, if I'm not wrong, we say terjun air, air being water. Mm -hmm. Terjun is to dive, but not like the well it can also mean that but usually you know you have someone jumping off a cliff mm -hmm. you use the word jump usually. <laughs> <laughs> no not usually please do not ever do that but when someone jumps from a higher position to a lower position you yeah. say you know you say jump in english but we use this specific word called terujun, oh. which could mean that or it could mean to to like dive okay so it's like yeah. the action is just jumping or yeah so it just kind of like falls down uh, funnily, if you switch the word around, I ate jun, that means waterfall because the water ah, is jumping. Oh, that's so cute! Fall water and waterfall. Yes. I like that. <laughs> that's very cute. Well, ours isn't that exciting. We just say dash, which means like sort of artistic jumping. Oh, oh not just that's jumping. Very <laughs> poetic. Yes, very poetic. <laughs> that is the Hungarian language. <laughs> So in French it is la plongée, and um, oh. as you said, in, so for us it's similar. That plongée means to plunge. Yes. So yeah. it's literally you're going into the depth of the water, mm -hmm. and um, yes, the idea is if you're jumping from a from a high point, then you're going to end up deep into the water, and if you go straight into the water and dive in deep, you're also going to be deep into the water. So it's <laughs> yeah, when you oh. said plongée. Yeah. I immediately think of like, like that sound. Yeah, <laughs> you think about the splash, right? That, yeah, that's yeah. kind of the sound you make if yeah. you jump from like high like, above into water. Yeah. So, the next one we have is scuba diving. So, scuba diving, I don't think we have a translation for the word scuba, correct me if I'm wrong. Diving is uh, menilam. Uh, that is an actual word that solely describes this action of going mm. under the water. So, Manilam. I think it's Manilam Scuba, if I'm not wrong. But I could be wrong. So tell me. <laughs> we say Buvar Kodash. Buvar is the diver, 
and then we make the person into the activity. Mm -hmm. Work for that. Ah. And in French, we use the um, plonger again, so from the diving, but plonger sous-marine. So la plongée oh, sous-marine submarine. Like submarine. submarine diving, that's, which makes a lot of sense. That's that very interesting. Sense. <laughs> that sense. Okay, we're still in the ocean now, and we're with surfing. Um, yeah, so surfing in Hungarian, surf, we just put it into sort of a Hungarian way of spelling things. Surf, that is surf. like the word surf in English. <laughs> and the, the activity itself is surfazish, surfalish, depending on where in the country you live. Oh, <laughs> really? really? Yes, yeah, some, very... some people um, prefer to, to use one way and some people prefer to use the other, but I think mm. they're both equally correct. Mm. Question. Yes. Um, with internet surfing, would you use a different word? Or do you use the English? Um, it depends. I think it depends on the generation. Like, okay. my parents' generation would probably say, like, I'm surfing on the internet in Hungarian, but that's not really what we say. We just say, like, using... Oh, we actually say netting. Like, netting. Netting. <laughs> netting. Yeah, so net -eze. Yeah. We definitely don't use the word netting. surf. <laughs> <laughs> but that's interesting you ask the question because in French we do. Oh. Um, so in French we have, um, so surfing is le surf. Surf. <laughs> and um, to, like to go surfing or to surf is um, surfer. So we have in French always oh. the, na the verbs are always with er at the end and um, the infinitive form. So we take the the root, well, we take the yeah. English word and we add <laughs> the Make ER at the word. end, yeah. the surfing. And when we're referring then to the internet, we talk about surfing sur internet. Oh. Um, okay, next we have rowing. Rowing, uh, there's really no story to it. We say mendayong. <laughs> Dayong is to row, and mendayong is the activity. We say evasish. That's the activity. Evasni is um, the word. It's actually not too far from the French, I find. Oh, really? So in French is l'aviron, l'aviron, faire de l'aviron. So it's called the avi. You said avi something. Evasish. 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 So it's E V E. Okay, but I still find it was closer than the English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Definitely. aviron. Um, but you would say when you're talking about doing the activity, you, would, mm -hmm. you don't have the er at the end. Because aviron is a noun, so it's faire de l'aviron. Uh, what does faire mean? Um, so it's the equivalent in English when you say, uh, for example, play uh, okay. tennis. It's like yeah. faire de. Faire de means do some. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do, I get do it. Do some rowing. Right. <laughs> what do you do? I do some rowing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It does. Okay. Sailing. So sailing is, this is where it gets a little bit strange because I would use the word for surfing, which is balaya. <laughs> for sailing? <laughs> yes, for sailing, because th that makes sense to me. That's the word I use. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole activity itself involves the, 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 uh, the boat. So we will say um, parahulaya for the, the, the sport itself. Okay. Yeah. We have a very different word. <laughs> so sailing is vitorlazash and then the boat is vitorlash. Vitorlash oh. oil. Which means like sounds sailing boat. Sounds almost like a first name. <laughs> <laughs> Hello my name is Vitorlash oil. <laughs> so in French we call it um, faire de la voile. So la voile, voile is again, so do some sail. <laughs> so talking about the, the, the sail. So, and um, you can also say, so faire de la planche à voile. That's actually the full terminology okay. of it. And planche à voile, and that reminds me of what you were saying with um, planche is the board that you, is oh, like a plank. Person. Yeah. It means, yeah, so it's referring wow. to the, to, so it's a, it's basically saying it's a plank, 
We have a sale. <laughs> it usually is, so... Kinda, yeah. Yeah. And what do you call these in your language? What do we want? More subscribers! When do we want it? Now! How are we gonna get it? Click, Click the, the subscribe, subscribe button. button! And don't forget the bell! That's right. And remember to share.